Good afternoon everyone. This is Priyamani. India is a India is a vast country. It lies totally in northern hemisphere. The geographical location of India provides vast diversity in climatic conditions. The Indian Peninsula part of Gondwana land. The peninsula is the peninsula the peninsula land that is surrounded surrounded by three sides to the west arabian sea to the east bay of bengal is there to the south indian ocean is there to the west arabian sea is there to the east bay of bengal is there to the south indian ocean is there the indian landmass displays great relief variations in india we have six major physiographic division six major relief divisions they are the himalayas the indo gangetic plains the peninsular plateaus the coastal plains the desert the islands the himalayas the indo gangetic plains the peninsular plateaus the coastal plain the desert the islands in this six divisions now i explain about coastal plains coastal plains the plains that, that are situated on the coast is called coastal plains the plains that are situated <coughs> on the coast is called coastal plains the india the india the india coastal plains the india total coastline is 7516 km the gujarat have long, long coastline is 1600 km after the gujarat the land coast the long coastland have andhra pradesh is 9975 km in this coastal plains there are two coastal plains eastern coastal plains western coastal plains now i explained about eastern coastal plains eastern coastal plains is is a belt of plain regions it lies in eastern ghats eastern coastal plains and bay of bengal the 
eastern coastal plains lies eastern coastal plains and bay of bengal these coastal plains are comparatively wider these plains are comparatively wider these plains have very fertile because rivers like mahanadi krishna kaveri deposit their sediment sediment these plains receives these plains receives less rainfall these plains receives less rainfall from north to south these plains are divided into three parts first one utkal coast second one sarkar coast third one koramandal coast from north to south these plains are divided into three parts utkal coast sarkar coast koramandal coast utkal coast in odisha sarkar coast in andhra pradesh koramandal coast in tamil nadu utkal coast in odisha sarkar coast in andhra pradesh कोरमंडल कोसी तमिलनाडु दीस प्लेन्स आर एग्रीकल्चरली डेवलप्ड दीस प्लेन्स आर कट बाय रिवर्स दीस प्लेन्स हैव लेक्स लाइक पुलिकाट कोलेरु चिल्का ऑल ऑफ यू क्लियर अबाउट ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स यस Next, I explained about western coastal plains. Western coastal plain is a belt of plain region. It lies in eastern coastal plains and Arabian Sea. It lies in eastern coastal western coastal plains. western ghats and arabian sea this plains is narrow in width narrow in width this plains have less fertile because because no major rivers like mahanadi krishna kaveri these plains receives these plains receives very rainfall from north to south these plains divided into three parts first one is konkan coast second one is kanara coast third one is malabar coast from north to south these plains are divided into three parts konkan coast in northern part northern part it touches the it touches the Maharashtra and Goa Kanara coast in middle part Kanara coast in middle part it touches the Karnataka it touches the Karnataka मलबार कोस्टिंग मलबार
हैदराबाद कोस्टिंग सदर्न पार्ट इट टचेस द केरला इट टचेस द केरला दिस प्लेन्स आर एग्रीकल्चर रिच नॉट डेवलप्ड दिस प्लेन्स आर not cut by any rivers this plain have no such lakes like kulikat kolleru chilka all of you clear about western coastal plains yes, yes. I explain differences between eastern coastal plains and western coastal plains. Differences between eastern coastal plains. Eastern coastal plains. Western coastal plains. Eastern coastal plains lies Western Ghats and Bay of Bengal. Eastern Ghats and Bay of Bengal. The Western Coastal Plains lies Western Ghats. Arabian Sea. Eastern coastal plains comparative comparatively wider to the western coastal plains. Eastern coastal plains. Western coastal plains narrow in width. Western coastal plains narrow in width. Eastern coastal plains are very fertile. Why? Because rivers like Mahanadi, Krishna, Kaveri deposit their sediments. Western coastal plains are less fertile comparatively to eastern coastal plains. Western coastal plains. East 
western coastal plains receives less rainfall compared compared to western coastal plains eastern coastal plains receives less rainfall western coastal plains receives more rainfall western coastal plains receives western coastal plains are agriculturally developed compared to western coastal plains these plains are agriculturally agriculturally developed the western coastal plains are not not are not developed compared with the eastern coastal plains these plains are not agriculturally developed these plains these plains are cut by rivers these plains are cut by rivers these plains are not cut by rivers all of you clear about this and yes now i ask some questions raji how many How many relief divisions of India? Six. What are they? The Himalayas, the Indo-Gangetic Plains, the Peninsular Plateaus, the Coastal Plains, the Desert, the Islands. Now, I explain. I explain some similarities of these plains. Both both plains are very fertile. both plains are very useful for agriculture both plains are densely populated these plains are rich in mineral resources and fishing resources these plains are good in sea port these plains are from there are three parts from north to south these some features of these plains thank you